Good morning and welcome to today's daily vlog. Now it's Tuesday, the day after Bank Holiday Monday for Easter Monday yesterday. Uh, it was a good day yesterday, doing that, um, cooking that Christmas, that Christmas dinner, that Easter <laughs> Christmas dinner. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. It was Easter lunch, not Christmas dinners. Ages away till Christmas. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it's now 57 minutes past 12. I've got a few things to do online because today is a normal day and I need to get back on with um, my normal stuff so I need to go on get online and start doing what I need to do on there um, I might even get the shopping done as well so that's done ready for Friday um, but yeah anyway I better get on with what I need to do online so it's now 58 minutes past four. Can't remember when I last line. I don't think I've done much at all today, vlog wise. I've had quite a bit to do online, so I've. And my computer's gone off first try as well, so that's good. I don't want my computer doing all that stuff where I have to I mean, restart it and all the other little bits. It's gone very cloudy today, actually. Very cloudy. I've been. I went out a while ago, they Molly out for a walk and I had a break and everything. But um, I don't think I've vlogged very much at all today. I think this is the second clip out of the entire vlog. But yeah, anyway, let's go and do leftovers for dinner from last night, yesterday's, um, yesterday's Easter lunch. So yeah, let's go do dinner. So just got downstairs to do dinner. It's gone very windy as well. I'll just checking the curb which where the fenders are going down. We have had that quite a lot in recent years, making sure it's not actually raining. But Jesus, it's well horrible. Cloudy weather. Molly's just gone there. As I say that. It's just started raining. Typical, isn't it? You come out to vlog in the garden and then it starts raining. Shouldn't be too bad though. Got some new foods for Molly. Tails.com got a bit expensive, so we've now got butchers and we've got this mood food for dogs. Good mood. So I'm um, calm and relaxed. So this, in theory, will calm her down a bit. So she can be quiet. Excited and everything at some times, can't you? So this will hopefully calm her down and I'm relaxed. That's good. So yeah, we're doing um, leftovers for dinner tonight, so I'm going to get on with that. I wish this weather would get better. But anyway, I'm going to get on with doing the dinner. So we've had dinner. You are right there, Molly? It's just down here. You all right? <laughs> You're supposed to be calming down with those biscuits. <laughs> She's just there. Um, and then the lionesses are playing a football match in a bit. I've got it on tape. I'm just going to try and get this washing up done. And then get into the room and sat down ready to watch it. And then like I'm going to do is normal, sort of like 
give you my sort of like prediction before the match how it's going at half time and then at full time give you my sort of like round up to what I thought to the full match as a whole um, I didn't do it last time I think I got the, the vlog got quite long I can't remember why I didn't do it last time I just watched the game but yeah I think I'm going to do like a match analysis sort of like drawing it and everything so um yeah not really that much to do watching up wise so I'm just gonna get on with that and then watch the match so it's now 16 minutes past seven I'm going to put the football on now I think it's already on on um ITV4 yeah it's already on on ITV4 but I've um, taped it so if I go to my shows Australia played Scotland on Friday I didn't see that um, but I'm not interested in Australia or Scotland, I'm not really interested in um, the Lionesses, the England team. So we're going to watch the football match. Hopefully the Lionesses are going to win. Um, I think it's going to be 5-2. That's my prediction for, um, for pre-match. I think it's going to be a 5-2 win. Um, to the Lionesses um, I think Georgia Stangway is going to score the first one maybe from a penalty or maybe just from a normal shot but um, yeah I do think Georgia Stangway is going to score the first one I think Ella Toon is going to get one um, maybe Alicia Russo but yeah anyway I'm going to start watching the football match and I'll be back at half time to let you know what I'm thinking to the match and the score at half time. So let's watch the first half. Well, my prediction went into pot. Um, George Stangway didn't get the first goal. Um, we didn't get the first goal at all. Um, the Australians got the first goal in, so it's 1 0 to Australia. Um, we're playing very sloppy at the moment, not great at all, giving the ball away. Alicia Russo has had about two or three shots from corners and, and stuff, but yeah, so far not looking great. Hopefully in the next half they're going to be a bit better, but we'll see. But yeah, a little bit disappointed with um, the first half. But let's watch the second half and see how they do. Hopefully, we can come back from this and get like a, at least a 2 or 3 1 um, lead. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to watch the second half and hopefully, we can pull something back from this. So, not a great end to that match. Uh, we lost 2-0. They managed to get another one in the second half. Obviously, it was 2-0. Um, I'm still hopeful that we'll win the World Cup in, is it four months? I think it's this summer when they do go for the World Cup. Um, luckily, it was just a friendly, so there's a lot to learn from it, and they can work on tactics and stuff for going into the World Cup as well. But um, yeah, a bit disappointing that they didn't win. Um, but Australia was like a tight team to win the ball was on one player. They had about three or four players right on that one player, making it hard to pass and stuff. So that's probably something they're going to work on. But um, yeah. It's the first game in 30 games, 30 or 31 games, that they've not either won or drew. So this is like the 
first game in 30 or 31 games um, that they've actually lost. So um, hopefully it's not going to be it's not going to be like a big thing. Hopefully we can still still keep winning games going into the World Cup and hopefully win win the World Cup as well. But yeah, a bit disappointing about um, today's game. Hopefully we will win going forward, join the World Cup and everything. But yeah, it was only a friendly, so it was not too bad. But it was nice. It would have been nice to see. But it's probably a good thing to lose. And now they can sort of like know what to work on. They've got that um, disappointment themselves as well. So that's probably going to help them have more fire in the belly for the World Cup. And I think they're going to try. I think they said they're going to try to fit in another friendly before the World Cup for England as well. So hopefully that will all be good. And hopefully we'll still have a chance at winning the World Cup. But anyway, I'm now going to watch EastEnders and then get on with the editing. So I'm going to end today's vlog here. So don't forget, if you like the vlog, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, leave a comment and click the bell so you always get notified when I upload new videos. And I'll see you tomorrow at 6pm. So don't forget, if you dream it, believe it, achieve it. Good night.